Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Mobile Care News, and I'm a little late to the game with this news article. This was posted yesterday, but it seems that T-Mobile is getting more serious by the day on what they're doing with their LTE, their 5G, and their business model. So basically, T-Mobile is is at a good pace right now to be at the top percent of 5G because they released it in 2019 of late uh, in December. They have a they have a head sh- they have a I would say a heads up with the whole with the whole having a better coverage than Verizon and AT&T, which is a good thing. Um, I've noticed Verizon picking up a little bit um, faster than AT&T, with, uh, and it's catching up to T-Mobile. So I honestly hope for the next 6 to 12 months, T-Mobile catches up to speed with their whole 5G and business model. And they're also focusing on their employees, which is a good thing because a lot of companies don't really focus on people who work at these companies. They just focus you know, on the money, on the uh, profits, on the margin, how much was made for but for the day, but I'm actually glad to hear and see that T-Mobile is actually focusing on this. I was scrolling down here reading the article, and it's in and it, T-Mobile is very is a very smaller carrier compared to the rest. Their market share is ten percent, while Verizon is eighteen T and while Verizon eighteen T are ninety percent, which actually makes sense because eighteen T Verizon were first here to the game, and. I honestly do believe in my opinion, I am reading this article, but from my opinion, I do believe T-Mobile does have, you know, the, the strength to have exponential growth in the next coming years. Hopefully they um, they actually take their service, you know, more seriously. They need to be more aggressive with trying to build up their infrastructure and trying to fix those spotty networks, trying to find the places with no coverage and at least give it you know, like, at least give it, give it full bars of coverage, or at least, like, three bars, as you can see on my iPhone right now. I have two bars of LTE. And everything is all positive news. Um, I've noticed uh, T-Mobile's going, going to have their earnings today after, uh, in around where I live right here, two hours after the market. No, after the market, actually, no, sorry. Uh, it's going to be three, uh, three hours they're going to have their... Um, they're gonna have have their earnings very soon and i expect big things from t-mobile and their earnings you know every single time they've had their earnings they went up um they've uh they've introduced exponential growth they introduced a lot of a lot of positive things they added um i think every quarter or last few quarters they've been adding like over a thousand um no, sorry, uh, over a million customers because people are switching from AT&T and Verizon. But so far, um, it, it, T-Mobile is gaining customers from AT&T and Verizon, and I'm kind of shocked about that because, you know, they're the biggest two carriers. Um, Verizon's the big red, at and you know, the Death Star. And it's just very interesting. People are switching. I guess they want to try T-Mobile for a change. Maybe it's for like a month and they'll go back. Who knows? But T-Mobile is doing very good so far, and they're cut. They're starting to narrow down their coverage gap, which is all good. Hope, but but I really hope they can you know speed it up, and um, at least not um not let Verizon you know win. This is not my opinion. I'm just saying because Verizon's always the big red. They always they always dominated in three G back in those days. They always dominated in <clears throat> in the four G LTE, and now we're up at five G. So we're on the fifth generation. We'll see how this goes around, and you know, team. And now that T-Mobile merged with Sprint, they have more. They do have more coverage, but they have to convert those towers into T-Mobile towers, and you know, and then and then they're telling you know they got to tell customers you know hey we're um we're gonna shut down your you know the towers because of the agreement. And um, I guess many people didn't hear about the news, but you know it's how they were. It's how they was they were gonna do it from the start, as soon as those two merged, because Verizon Sprint what because sorry Sprint was uh you know very, Sprint had a lot has a has a lot of, 
they actually have like a lot of coverage surprisingly they don't have like very little it's not like a small coverage they have a lot but they weren't building that good so you know team basically came into the rescue grabbed their hand and hey you're um you, you're gonna we're gonna you know take care you know take over you uh you personally and improve you know the whole service you know which i think is a good thing i think by next year t-mobile service will be better than ever and um obviously verizon and at&t too but you know we'll see i, I want to see how you know t-mobile does for the next year and um you know eventually you know i might stay with them i might keep them i don't hate t-mobile i, I don't I, I don't compare this to you know i don't compare them to the other carriers that much but you know we'll see how you know how they do hopefully next year you know they have better coverage on their, if I go to another area, or, or if I go to like some place like up the mountains, and hopefully their 